The next little program we're going to put together is a little personality tester and you can read through the notes if you're not familiar with the Myers personality test. There's a lot of different personality tests but this is one of the more popular ones. And this isn't just to know your own personal personality. You should be able to recognize the personalities of others, especially the other people that you're working with in your group. It'll help communication better. So, you know, how do you communicate with an extrovert? How do you communicate with an introvert? What if they are a thinking person versus a feeling person? So recognizing those different personality types and how to communicate with them, that's a really big part of project management and making a team work. So what we have here is a few simple questions. So are you extroverted or introverted? So this is outer world or inner And you're going to fill in numbers for each of these different personality types. Okay, so let's say I'm going to just switch these numbers around so you can see it calculate something here. So someone's going to read through the questions and fill in on a scale of 1 to 5 where they are in here. And after they've answered the questions, they'll come over to this little button, click the button, and boom, it'll calculate their personality. Not only will it calculate their personality, let me change this around again just to... It is going to fill in a couple of little descriptions. So here is a description of that personality type and then to give you a better feeling for what that's like it's going to pull up some famous characters like movie characters so you can get a better feeling for what that is and what I want you to do is open this program up study the code and then you're going to modify it to add a new personality type down here in cell C30 and you don't have to make it a Star Trek character. Just pick your favorite book series or your movie series or television series. Google Myers personality type for, I don't know, Disney characters or whatever you choose to do. And there's posters out there and they'll have the characters all out. And then you're going to go into this code and modify it for that new personality type. Okay, so where is the code that is attached to this button? Let's come over here, click on the button, and just say View Code. And it will pull up over here. I've actually got a couple of different examples in here. Just poke around in the modules till you find it. So this is under Module 1, and there is our button that executes the code. And let me just copy and zoom in on this so you can see it a little bit better here. Okay, so here's the code that's being used by the Myers Personality Tester, and it consists of just a bunch of if-then statements. If-then statements are very common in most programming languages, so it's just something to get used to. We start out with our subroutine. Each little button in each program is just a subroutine, giving it a name, and we're going to say if range B6, so we're going to come over here, what's on B6? B6 is this number over here that the user typed in. If this value in B6 is a larger than what is in this other cell in B7, then we're going to come down to C19, so where's C19? Here's C19, so this little cell right here, and we're going to fill in the value of E. Okay, so if B6, I tend to be more focused on the outer world, so if this is larger, that means this user is an extrovert, so we're just going to fill in E. Now if that is not true, then it will be an I. So Myers is just two different personality types. You're either extrovert or introvert. Okay, so it goes through this for sensing and intuitive, thinking and feeling, judging and perceiving, and it's just a bunch of if-then statements that is comparing values in adjacent cells and seeing which is larger and then depending on which is larger it fills in a personality in C19, D19, E19, and F19. So you're just going to come read the code that's being generated and look at the cells and see what's in those cells to figure out what's going on here. 
Okay, what's the next little piece of the code that we have here? Anything in green that starts with this little tick mark, these are comment lines. So this isn't actually part of the code. It's simply there for other programmers who are coming in and looking and trying to figure out what's going on. So this little chunk of code is all going to go with the scenario of ISTJ. So introvert, sensing, thinking, and judging personality type. If that's what ends up getting filled into the, this cell, C19, D19, E19, Okay, so it's going to look to see what is in each of these cells, and if they match the ISTJ personality type, then it's going to come over here and fill in some values for Star Wars characters and Harry Potter characters and Lord of the Rings characters. So again, you just have to look to see what, what information is being recorded in this cell. So if I go to C... 20, this is the overall description of what this personality type is. And then the next one, C22, this one is underneath the Star Wars character. Okay, so the Star Wars character that goes with ISTJ is Owen Lars, and then the Harry Potter character would be Severus Snape, and the Lord of the Ring character. So if this is what your personality type is, it would fill this in. Let me switch this around. So every time you push a button, it's going to switch all of the descriptions. Okay, And if you have the numbers filled out for ISTJ, this is what's going to come up for ISTJ. Now down here, this guy is blank. And I have it all set up for you where all you have to do is come in here and fill in something between these quotation marks. Just like up here above, we have different characters filled into the quotation marks. This is what it's going to fill in to C30. So right now it's not filling anything into this cell. And you're going to go through each of these different personality types, and there's a lot of them. There's 16 different personality types. So go go into the code, edit the code, and add a little name in here for your favorite TV series or Marvel comic book characters or whatever you want to put in here. So, and once you have this edited, then it will come here and update this for your favorite series in here. Here's just a few examples of some of the posters you can find with a simple Google image search. So animals, cartoon characters, TV series, there's tons and tons of these posters out there. Find one and fill in those 16 personality types.